Hello guys, it's Osco Gamer G Line here, and today I'm gonna be playing Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors. But I'm actually gonna be doing a training session and talking about like where my skill level is at and you know what what has been going on. So throughout my battles with some people who have actually got interested in this game and downloading it and who have played it previously before, I've been playing this game for about two years now, and I've created a ranking system. And in the ranking system, I am very high. I'm actually an expert too. And it's not just because I made it. It's because of, especially compared to the people who I face against, they're, they're not really better than me. And, and they can, you know, say all they want that they are, but it's not, it's, they're really not. Now, there is two people who actually come close to being better than me. I, I can't even lie. There's two people who come close to being better than me as of right now. It's two people who come close. But other than that, you know, most of the people I faced, they are not better than me. I've seen people on YouTube play, and it doesn't look like they're better than me. It don't even look like they're trying too much. But, you know, I don't try too much against my friends. I'll go maybe 50% power, but, you know, skill, you know what I'm talking about. But usually, like... When I go 100%, I always put up a good fight. If I go 100% and lose, it will always be down to the nitty-gritty where we both have, like, barely any health. It will never be where I get blown out because it's, it, I don't worry like that. I don't just get blown out. It just don't happen like that. It really doesn't. You know, but... And I, I really should be higher, but for real though, I ain't even gonna lie. For the people now that have actually played this game, they're pretty high. Like my friend, he, he if I could put him on a scale right now, I ain't gonna say his name, but his, but he's an intermediate one, which is is a ranking thing. You probably yeah, don't don't worry about it. You you basically don't need to. So it's beginner one, two, and three. Intermediate one, two, and three. Intermediate, basically middle class, which I will change the name eventually, but for right now, that's what it's going to be. Uh, and then it's expert one, two, three, and four, and then it's master. So he's an intermediate one, and you know, it, it re he can't really upgrade his level. And what I mean by that, if you guys knew his lifestyle, but not only that, not only his lifestyle. And what he goes through on a daily life is what he does. He doesn't have any pure skill. What I'm saying is, like, in hand-to-hand -hand combat, I ain't gonna lie. He'd probably beat me. He, he'd come close to. Or, because I've, I've experienced this thing before. And I know how to shut him down. But I, I, I can tell you right now, he could probably beat me in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But when it comes to pure skill, what I'm talking about, especially key blast. He can't beat me. I'm talking about maneuvering, dodging key blast, using key blast. He can't beat me in anything. Pure skill resolves, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and key put together, which he cannot do. It just seems that he can't use both of those together properly. Now, he has beaten me before, and I do admit he has a little bit of pure skill, but not nearly as much as I do. And I'm not just saying this just to try to... You know, say I'm the best because I'm not the best. There are, pro there are people who have shitted on me in this game. And my number one rival, you know, he basically, he doesn't shit on me. Well, well, we go back and forth. But we both put up a good fight. We both talk each other, saying you're trash. And we both play another game. We have fun. Like, we don't, you know, just basically just, you, you understand what I'm saying, like, we don't have no arguments over who is better. Well, I mean, sometimes we do, but we don't really talk about it too much. And I've actually been losing horribly. Like, some of the battles that I've lost, I should have actually won. And it's basically like, why? Why did I lose this battle? There's so many ways this battle could have gone. Like, I lost to my friend that's an intermediate one so many times. Not so many times, but... I'm going to say it, it's so many times that when he was beating me, I could have beaten him. But I have been in those situations, like, from the start of the battle, I was just fucked up. 
it was no hope of winning from the start of that battle. And and everyone has a battle like that. And even in life, everyone has a battle like that. From the moment you start something, you literally can't win. And and to me, I've learned that just a few mistakes, few mistakes, especially in this game, can get you messed up. If you are on, if especially if you're going a hundred percent, I'm gonna tell you right now, when you're going a hundred percent. Most people who are 100% aren't focused. Like, what I'm saying about that is, it's not the fact that they're not focused. It's the fact that they're going all in. And that they'll miss small little mistakes that they were not were not missing before. And it's not, it's not bad. It's like, if you're really getting into the game and you're going 100% and you're trying to focus, you're going to miss at least one thing because you're putting a lot of pressure like, you're literally fighting back-to-back, -back, dodging, you know, all this other stuff. And normally, you wouldn't do that. Like, I know a lot of people give it their all, but I'm talking about when you're going, and you're, you're literally going beyond what you think you can do. Like, it, it's like playing a game, a, a hardcore game of basketball. You try harder than you ha have in your entire life. I'm talking about those kind of battles. Like, those kind of battles... Those are the ones that can get you that can get you better and more experienced, but also the ones that you can make the most mistakes in. And I'm not even gonna lie, I've had I've had a few of those battles. And from I'm gonna tell you right now, my experience from the battles, they've taught me a lot of things. Even if you're going 100%, it doesn't mean you're gonna win. It really doesn't because and and it also taught me another thing. Skill, it doesn't matter what rank you are, it just matters basically of skill. And what I mean by that, you know, if if I know your strategy, I could be a beginner one and I could beat you. You could be a master at this game and I'm a beginner one and I could beat you with ease. And it's only because I know your strategy. That's why you don't have just one strategy that you use or a few. You have many. If you only have a few strategies, eventually I'm going to get adapted to all of them. And you're basically going to be shut down. And that and that's another problem. It's not the fact that he's, that he's not better than you. It's the fact that he can beat you so easily because of your ta tactics are so easy to, you know, basically break. Because if I can break through your defenses basically like that and all your tactics, you can't do, you can't touch me. Because I know everyone that has that situation like when when the opponent is is seeing through all their moves, what do they do next? Like what what what's their next move? Like that's basically what you're wondering. What can you do to stop this? What can you do to make yourself win? And it is basically just change your strategy. I don't use the same strategy every time, but I know people. I know my friends can easily lock lock me down with without a doubt. They can lock me down now. I've had, I don't know if anyone else has had these type of battles, but I've had those battles to where literally I'm not trying at all and I still win. Like, it's against my most toughest opponent and I'm not trying at all and they're trying and giving it their all and I win, but then when you're trying and giving it your all against them, you lose. And it's like, should I not try at all and then maybe I'll win? And it, it and the fact about not trying is sometimes when you're not trying, you're more relaxed than you are when you are trying because when I know people like to talk smack and when they talk smack, you get aggravated a little bit. And I know some people might disagree with me, but I know you guys get angry. Now, some people they do get pissed off, and they will and they will actually get angry and start trying. Now, when you're angry, you can't focus. You might think you're focusing, but you, you're really not focusing all that much. And if you're not focused, you can make the smallest mistake that can make you lose, because that's happened to me before. So you have you have to stay calm. And now, I know most people probably be like, well, I, I should probably not try it all. That That isn't the case, because you may have just got lucky. Everybody has those days where they where they literally just went every time, no matter what happens. But you re you really honestly, what the hell? I honestly did not know that move right there until now, cause I've never used this character that often. 
at, especially at this level, but that's besides the point. So, basically, this training session that just been to talk about, like, what the fuck? Ooh. a Okay, I got you, but this training session is basically just to been talk about, like, what you need to do to get better and what kind of situation you can be in. Like, you could be in those situations where everything is close. And what I mean by everything is close, I mean your attacks, your... Like, I've been literally in situations like this where I actually blocked it. Like, I, like, she shot it at me, and I blocked it before. And I'm talking about those type of situations. Them situations that make you just, like, want to be like, oh, my fucking God. Now, the thing about this game is that I've learned is that there you can be in a you can be in so many close battles and these battles could actually go for a long time especially if you're one of them type of people that all they do is shoot key blasts you literally you could you could do a lot now there there's another problem with this you know there are certain characters who move that you cannot block in a way not the fact that you cannot block it it's very hard to block and I understand those people who get frustrated with those people who spam those moves. But you have to realize, if they spam it, there's always a way to stop spammers. There's no, it's not like this impossible to stop. You just have to know that the person's going to use it and stop them from doing it. It's that simple. Now, the thing about... Ooh, the thing about someone like this character, like Majin Buu. I can use that move. You can throw whatever you want at it. There's nothing you can do against it. It's just like self spirit bomb. You can throw whatever you want at it. You can't stop it. But there, here's another thing about this: if if I'm Majin, you could be a cell. You could be um cell, and I could hit you and stop you from using that spirit bomb. But with Majin Buu, no matter what you do, once he uses the move, even if you were to hit him, you still can't stop him. But this training session, like, I, I, I just need to let everybody know that I need to get better. And you also do, to do too, for people who probably play this game. And a few people that do see this, you need to get better, too. Because this game is not easy. Especially when you're facing it. Well, the, the game itself is easy, but what I'm talking about, the concept of it is not. When you're facing against your friends, that's not easy. Especially when half of them were, used to play almost every single day just to get better. Now I know you're probably wondering if you played for two, for basically two years, because that's how long I played. How in the hell are you an expert too? You should be like an expert four or a master, the max rank. Now, when I first played this game, I wasn't as good as I thought I was. If I compare how when I first played this game now, I maybe have, would have been a a beginner three when I first played, like the, maybe the first half a year I played, and then by the end of the year, I was maybe the middle class. And then if you, if you put it up to now, like a year and a half, I probably would have gotten to an expert. And then this two years, I would have gotten to an expert too, as far as I can tell you right now. Now, that's another mistake right there. Don't. You, you can't make those mistakes either. When a person, is, sometimes they lead you into traps. They let you come just to use the move, and you're just a second off, and you get messed up. And you might hit the character, but even though you might hit them, the move that they're using will do more damage than it does to them, to you. It will do way more damage to you than it will to them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this training session that I had. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a week. I really do need to upload more, but I've just been basically just training and figuring out this Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury, um, Max Style Gogeta Theory. Now, Max Style Gogeta is a cheat. It's like a, a mixture of a cheat, cheated Gogeta and um, I, I'm going to put it like this. The cheat for a, a Vegeta where you can switch out his character for another character. And I use Switch Stop Gogeta. And it made Gogeta the second strongest character in the game. The first strongest character is Max Style Gotenks. But that's another topic for another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this training session for today. And have a great day. And I'm very sorry if I was being 
repetitive with my words. And have a great day.